hello students how are you uh, we have to take a new idea in chapter 8 fraction the objective in this uh, video is about multiplication of fractions uh, you will take the first rule or this rule a over b times c over d here directly if we have the product of these two fractions we say that we have to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together so we will get a times c over b times d such that b and d different than zero because here we uh, we, we don't have a uh, denominator equals to zero so here a times c over b times d we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together and this is correct if we have a product of uh, three fractions four or more so directly we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together example 3 over 4 times 2 over 1, 5 here uh, directly we have the product of these two fractions so we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together so 3 times 2 over 4 times 5 3 times 2 is 6 and 4 times 5 is 20 another example 5 over 6 times minus 2 over 30 the same thing here we have to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together so 5 times minus 2 over 6 times 30 5 times minus 2 is minus 10 over 6 times 30 is 180 uh, now Suppose that you have the following example 3 over 5, 4 times 2 over minus 5 times minus 10 over 9 The same thing here we have to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together So if we multiply the numerators 3 times 2 times minus 10 and the denominator 4 times minus 5 times 9 The answer of the numerator is minus, numerators is minus 60 and 4 times minus 5 times 9 is minus 180 so here uh, negative 60 over negative 180 negative divided by negative is positive so we can uh, eliminate here the negative sign so we can put only 60 over 180 now the idea is simplifying the product of several fractions uh, here how can we simplify the product of the fractions that we have suppose that you have the following fraction 3 over 5 times 10 over 9 here as I told you that we have to multiply the numerators together and the denominators together 3 times 10 is 30 and 5 times 9 is 45 here uh, to get the simplest term of 30 over 40, 45 we divide by the greatest common factor of 30 and 45 the greatest common factor of 30 and 45 is 15 so we divide by 15 here by 15 we will get 2 and here 45 by 15 is 3 so 2 over 3 is the simplest term of the uh, fra the product of the fractions that we have here another example about this one minus 4 over 25 times 10 over 2 the same thing here we have to multiply the numerators together minus 40 and the denominators together 50 the greatest common factor of 40 and 50 is 10 so we divide by 10 40 and 50 so minus 4, 4 over 5 here this is the first way in order to simplify now you have to take the second way now we have another way to simplify uh, suppose that you have the following uh, fractions 3 over 4 times 10 over 9 uh, the same thing we have to multiply the numerators and the denominators 3 times 10 over 4 times 9 directly here we have to uh, choose the numbers that have a uh, greatest common factor we have a 3 and 9 have a greatest common factor and we have 4 and 10 have a greatest common factor so 3 with 9 we divide the 3 and 9 by 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 9 divided by 3 uh, 3 is a 3 now 10 and 4 10 and 4 divided by 2 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 4 divided by 2 is 2 now we don't have more numbers that have a uh, common factor for that reason directly we multiply the numerators and the denominators so 1 times 5 5 2 times 3 is 6 
another example minus 7 over 20 times 15 over minus 14 equals to minus 7 times 15 over 20 times minus 14 minus 7 and minus 14 have have a common factor which is minus 7 so we divide them by minus 7 minus 7 divided by minus 7 is 1 minus 14 divided by minus 7 is 2 now 15 and 20 also have a greatest common factor which is 5 15 divided by 5 is a 3 20 divided by 5 is 4 now we don't have more numbers that have common factors so we multiply 1 and 3 3 4 times 2 is 8 so this is the simplest term of the product of these two fractions now the third one here 3 over 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 4 over 3 exponent 7 the numerators 3 exponent 1, 3 means a 3 exponent 1 times 2 exponent 4 over 2 exponent 2 times a 3 exponent 7. Now how can we get the simplest term of this one? Directly we see the numbers that have the greatest common factor, 3 exponent 1, 3 exponent 7. The greatest common factor between these two is the common factor with the least exponent, so 3 exponent 1. So we divide here 3, 3 exponent 1 and 3 exponent 7 by 3 exponent 1, here we will get 1 and here we will get 3 exponent 6 because we put the same base but the exponents we subtract them so 3 exponent 6 we can say directly 3 exponent 1 3 exponent 7 we put the same base but the exponents we subtract them 7 minus 1 is 6 now we have 2 exponent 4 and 2 exponent 2 directly also here 2 exponent 4 and 2 exponent 2 because we have the same base we subtract the exponents so 2 exponent 2 in the numerator so 2 exponent 2 3 exponent 6 so 1 times 2 exponent 2 over 1 times 3 exponent 6 so the final answer is 2 exponent 2 over 3 exponent 6 the last example 11 exponent 4 times 2 exponent 8 times 5 exponent 5 over 11 exponent 6 times 5 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 11 here 11 and 11 we have the same base so we can subtract the exponents uh, in the denominator we will get 11 exponent 2 the same thing for 2 exponent 8 to exponent 11 because we have the same base we subtract the exponents so in the denominator we will get 2 exponent 3 and 5 exponent 2 5 exponent 5 in the numerator we will get 5 exponent 3 so we can simplify more so this is the simplest term 5 exponent 3 over 11 exponent 2 times 2 exponent 3 thanks for watching